So I want to revisit the Men of Iron uh, series because I've got the little uh, print and play for Agincourt. It's a free scenario um, available over on uh, the GMT website. And, uh, you know, obviously the component quality isn't as high as the rest of the series, but I figured I'd finally give it a shot. And I printed it out when I did uh, 18AL, you know, with just a couple of sheets of paper, so no biggie there. Mounted them on stock. Um, the, his, the situation is that uh, Henry V is caught somewhere in France, and as usual, the English are kind of not really in good supply, and there's a French army blocking. Well, the French decide just to squat. Uh, they decide not to go forward. And they kind of set up a camp blocking Henry's uh, position. And started to party. Because, of course, that's what you do before a battle. Um, no, they actually didn't expect a battle. They expected an attempt to maneuver, probably. Instead, what Henry does is he moves forward into basically bow range, almost, of the French line. Sets up some pikes, etc., and moves forward a little further and begins to shoot up the partying French. Um, thoroughly pissed in more than one way, the French charge and the English pull back just a little bit. And, well, <laughs> behind their defensive position and proceed to decimate the French who attack pretty much completely with no command structure, etc. So we're going to see how that works out. We're going to play with all the historical options to make this the true slaughter that it should be. So the French moved forward, and the English uh, managed to get a line of uh, initiative and basically just destroyed that entire front line as it moved forward. Uh, I mean, it's retired, a couple of units dead. So the French bow advanced and uh, promptly disappeared. Um, Basically, already in a disordered state, they were unable to really act uh, fire effectively. I probably should have held them back uh, until I could rally, but they're in the second line, and it seemed like a useful thing to move forward. Um, the French moved forward with their first line again. They haven't taken any fire on it yet. And then finally, their third line, uh, back here, live under Alençon, uh, actually rallied. So they might be able to get something like a coherent attack uh, moving forward. But it's the British initiative, and, or the English initiative, and they'll be able to uh, shoot up that first line a little bit. Uh, another series of activations with French charges. Um, again, I mean, they just move forward and they disappear because they're not allowed to rally if they're close. Uh, Alan Sons units got close enough that if they had been able to get some sort of continuity, they would have been able to engage. But so far, there hasn't been a single shock attack yet. Um, the English have just done too well in terms of getting continuities or the French not getting them. And the French army breaks. Uh, 25 route points. I accidentally started clearing up uh, some of the retired markers on the non-continuity or switch um, and then realized my mistake. They were at 25 uh, flight points, rolled a 6, boom, it's over. Uh, English took no losses, nowhere near as bloody a battle as it was historically. This is played historically, um, completely unwinnable by the French. But you could play the same scenario with the full rolls or maybe not, um, not have the French army start disordered or something. And it could be an interesting little battle, I'm not sure. Uh, but, you know, it, it's a free print and play, and it's a good, I, I really like that companies do this. Um, I think it's a, a good habit. My, the first one I pulled out was Talavera from uh, the Gamers, uh, or not Talavera, um, Espinosa or something like that. And two, they put two out for the Napoleonic Brigade series, which made me say, wow, I like where the Brigade series went. Uh, unfortunately, it's dead now. But, uh, you know, this is definitely... If you want to give a taste to the system, 
great. I mean, the rules are living rules, so they're online. Um, specific rules for the scenario are also online. A couple pages there. And, you know, the component quality and everything is not going to be as good as the, the basic game. But uh, it, it, is, it is nice, and it's a lot better. Uh, some of the GMT games come with this little card uh, for... Oh, uh, do you want to try this other game? Well, little card, some World War II stuff, it, it just doesn't excite me as much. This is, you know, it's actually a real scenario, and uh, I think gives you some nice insight into the system. All right. Anyway, worth the printout, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> uh, but I wanted a copy of an Asian Court battle, anyhow. Yeah.